and my channel is all about dreadlocks and my dread journey. My dreads are two years, three months old and they are real dreads extended with human hair extensions. I'm really excited for this video because I get to do my regrowth. <laughs> and so I'm going to be showing you the process and how I wash them out. And by the end of this, I will have nice white and bright hair again. So this is what it's looking like right now. And you can definitely see a lot of frizz when the regrowth starts coming through. And I'll do my regrowth every four to six weeks. So I think I'm probably at the four week right four week mark right now. Um, so sometimes I'll leave it for a little bit longer, but yeah, let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mix my developer and bleach together. The brand is Color Royale, but um, I literally just use any generic bleach. Um, like this is just happens to be the brand that I got when I was at Hair House Warehouse. And sometimes I will even use um, box dye from like the supermarket, but it does, it comes out like super yellow. Um, so I tend that the powder and develop, I tend to believe that the <laughs> powder and developer is, um, is better to go with. What I do is just mix half, half, um, but then at the end, I'll make sure it's more liquidy than um, fluffy because otherwise it does tend to dry whilst it's on my hair and then I feel like it's not working so when I make sure that it's like super liquidy and runny um, then it stays wet and continues to develop on my hair if that made any sense at all so starting at the bottom layer um, with all your hair up, we're going to obviously apply the bleach and then rub it into the dread so that it's not just getting like the top, like top layer of hair, it's getting all of, all of the dread. Um, and then I just go through line by line. So you'll see here I'm separating one line of dreads. Um, and I'm just only going to show you the second layer because when you get to the second layer, you want to make sure that not only are you applying the bleach to the top of the bottom dreads, but you're also applying the bleach to the bottom of the top dreads here. If you can see, like I'm doing it for the, the top layer that's still pulled up, I'm applying it to those as well. So you want to do it both, both directions. I'm sure you get what I mean. <laughs> And then so yes, just continue going through your entire hair like that. And once you get to the top and you can't put a bun anymore, I just start going um, horizontal. So instead of going line by line upwards, I'll go line by line sideways. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not explaining this very well, but I'm hoping you can see what I mean. And Usually I don't have a camera, so I will use a mirror to see the back and just double check that you've got all, every, once you're done, double check that you've got all the places and nothing's um, looking patchy because I have had many times where it has definitely looked very patchy at the back. <laughs> and then I will just tie them up and, um, and wait till they're ready to go. ready to wash it out so after I had had it in for 20 minutes I went back through and just added um, some more bleach into the spots that had dried um, because again when it's wet it it makes it develop for the entire time whereas when it dries I feel like it stops working so 20 minutes in I redid it not all of it just parts and then I've left it in for another 20 minutes. So 40 minutes all up. And I used to be scared to leave it in for 40 minutes, but it would always turn out really yellow or it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't be good. Um, so 40 minutes seems to make it white. Wish me luck. Sometimes even after 40 minutes, it's still, it's still yellow. So, <laughs> um, and I do realize the makeup is a bit ridiculous in the shower, but I want the finished look to, to look good for the video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and do this as naturally as possible. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, because the bleach needs to be washed out extremely well, 
What I do is I wash my hair in three sections um, and I wash each section three times. <laughs> but for this first go, I'm just rinsing out the bleach and I'm not gonna use any shampoo for this. I'm purely just getting all the bleach out. And I will hold my dreads up in the air so that bleach doesn't run down the entire dread because there's a lot of bleach in my hair right now. But you will see that I accidentally do let the bleach run down because here I got a bit uncoordinated because um, I realized I had a face of makeup on and, um, <laughs> and then I forgot what I was doing. So now if you can see, I'm washing, I'm rinsing the bleach out but it's all running down my entire dreads which is not, not necessary and not good. And so I've just realized um, and now I will pick everything up <laughs> and this is this is like hard and then wash all the bleach out and you can see now that it's rinsing down not down the entire dread so now all I'm gonna do that took me a while by the way I rinsed um, that for like at least 10 minutes and now I'm grabbing raw roots herbal cleanser shampoo and I'm going to wash this bottom section three times literally wash it rinse it out wash it rinse it out wash it rinse it out and then i will do the next section wash it rinse it out wash it rinse it out and i'm sure you get the point and then at the end i will wash my entire hair all together once again just because um if bleach stays in your dreads it's really going to deteriorate deteriorate yeah <laughs> It's really going to deteriorate over time. And so this is my last step where I'm just washing everything all together. This took me ages, as it always does. I think I was in the shower for at least 30 or 40 minutes. Um, but you just want to really make sure that you get all this bleach out. And then obviously rinse all the shampoo out as best you can. Not as best you can. You, you want to rinse all the shampoo out until there's no shampoo um, in the water, <laughs> in the bottom of the shower. Oh. <laughs> I have one last step to do, and this is something I do after every time I wash my hair, but especially when I bleach it. I palm roll all of my dreads with aloe manuka gel, which for the most part I use to keep them nice and neat, no lumps and bumps but especially after I bleach my hair because it hydrates them and, um, and they're definitely feeling like they need that right now. But, um, and then I'm gonna dry them and I'll show you the finished look, but I feel like they're, they're looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm really loving how white they are. We are all finished. Nice, white and bright again. <laughs> So I'm really, really happy. I feel like I left it on like the perfect amount of time this time because there's like no yellow at all. And sometimes there's always a little bit of yellow. Um, and so, yes, this is what it's looking like. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I really hope that I answered any questions that you might have in your mind because I get asked how I do my regrowth a lot. And so if I didn't answer a question that's in your mind, please let me know. Um, just ask in the comments below and I will reply to you. I also document my whole dread journey. I also document my whole dread journey <laughs> on Instagram, so I will link that below, as well as the products that I used, which you can get from Dread Shop, and you can use code Dreadalina for 10% off. Thanks so much for watching, and if you did like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Bye.